hey hello everyone welcome back to our channel and in this one we are going to take a look at the model builder mode so as you can see this is the script uh, i have prepared and we will talk about this one later maybe the next next tutorial but let's take a look at the model builder node so in the nuke we have this model builder node which is very useful a rough geometry of our plate and doing some projection and placing a card on a depth so this tool is very useful i will tell you about how to use this one and how i use this one so let's get started so as you can see i have this footage and i have a matchmo camera also so let's assume we have a matchmo camera and we don't know uh, the position of uh, this scene i mean where this is in a z space and where this is in a z space so we don't know we just have a matchmo camera and that's it as you can see in this scenario the model builder node is very useful so what i mean by that let's take a look at the model builder node let's create a model builder node first this is the model builder properties panel and this is the node itself so as you can see it have a four input camera and the scene the geometry and the texture so let's connect camera to the camera first and the scene our plate and just view this one as you can see uh, once you view you, uh, the camera is automatically locked and it will lock this camera and if you play now you are in a 3d perspective as you can see the best way to use model builder and what i use most of the cases so let me just camera down this footage is very dark let's assume uh, you want to add some smoke here and some 2d element and uh, you have a camera so obviously you don't need to do uh, 2d tracking and all that stuff so what you can do you can place a card and you can run uh, run through scan render to exactly place the card you you have to know the position of this uh, place in a z space so the model builder will help you on that just quickly i will i will show you how how to use model builder and to and how to place a card in any of your scene using this tool here as you can see uh, it's a small properties panel here so first one just click and hold you will see uh, these are the objects you can place to identify the position in this one i'm using the point just click and as you can see add point in progress press escape to cancel so let's zoom in so let's assume i want to place a smoke element here as you can see we already have a smoke element but i want to add my own so so what i can do i can just zoom in and in the properties panel uh, in the viewer as you can see we have a few controls here just in the first one just click and hold and we can add a point and we can add sphere and all that so i'm taking a point here just clicking here once and we are added successfully now there is a keyframe is uh, added here in this frame so i can move a couple of frames like that so when i can see it's getting offset so as you can see it's not in this place so in that one i can just click and move this one and it will move only in one direction as you can see it will move on on the path so i'm just placing here going in my last frame and i'm just verifying so it's almost there i'm just moving this one little bit up and now this is the position i know so this is the exact position of this place so i can move here and let's see i want to know this position in a 3d space i can take another point node and i can click here and i can move forward a little bit to check where it's getting offset so as you can see it's mismatching so i'm just clicking here and it only move in one direction as you can see i can't move up and down so i can align it like that and i can go this frame also and i can verify so it's there so i don't need to add one more keyframe so there is two keyframes here and i got the position adding one more just to show you so we are in a first frame and let's add uh, one keyframe right here maybe let's add here and let's go to the last frame and see oh, it's too much offset i think yeah see it's offset it so i can click and track so it will move only one direction so i can align it better as you can see so let's move and see it should on that place so as you can see it, it, it is there so i located three uh, locators you can see and we have three points here what we need to do we can just select all three and just select uh, selected geo and just pick so now we have a points here in a 3d space so if you want to know where the point is you can't see the points you have to go in the vertex mode then you will see these points so how to use this one so let's make a card for quickly and let's go to the 3d view and as you can see this is my camera and as you can see where where these points are locating so this one is here this one is here this one is here 
so these two points are in the building one and this is the far away point this one this direction what you can do you can just go to the, this one and just select this point uh, make sure you are in a vertex mode and just select this point okay and open your card properties and here as you can see this cross site just click it and match to selected position just click it and as you can see your card is successfully placed on that exact position and only only thing we need to do we need to just rotate this one or we can use this one uh, just orientation and we are good to go now if i take a scan land render and connect my camera and my scene to this card like that and if we run as you can see we have this position here and i can add a noise just to see as you can see and then we can directly merge this one to our footage like that as you can see we are successfully placed this card in this z space this is how i use this model builder most of the time and and it's very it's very powerful your camera need to be uh, accurate i mean your camera track need to be more accurate then you will get position so as you can see i place it there and it's there only see if i change this blending mode to plus reduce this one just to show you see as you can see we have here and we can just move this one like that so it's touching this ground here basically okay now if i go to the last frame as you can see it's touching the ground here also and this is exactly what i want so this is very 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 powerful so let's change and let's see the other points uh, we have here so open this one make sure go to the vertex mode and let's use this point in my card let's only match the position you can match rotation and size also if you select two points it will match but in this one i just want position just clicking here we are good to go come here you will see the card is here and align it properly so as you can see uh, this is last frame and if you go to the first frame you will see so as you can see it's it's very very good to it's very good way to align your card or any geometry you want to align your, in your scene if you have a match move so you can easily do that with model builder make sure you are use uh, you can use any geometry but i use a one point because it's easier you only get one point if you make a card you, you get a lot of points but if you want to you want to add uh, this, all these things you can definitely do that and this is the one way of using this uh, model builder i use this just to get position data in a z space so i can place uh, any element or anything in my scene so the another way of using model builder as, as the name said model builder you can build a model so in this one as you can see i build it a rough geo i view this one so as you can see uh, in this one i build uh, this ground here and also in this second one as you can see i build this building building front part as you can see in this model builder so i will quickly tell you how i did that so you get the idea and you can use this one so let's make another model builder node and the scene here and you view this one so as you can see so this is a view so what you can do you can come here click and hold and you can create card cube sphere and whatever you want so in this one i'm just creating a card once you select the card you can go to the default shapes and as you can see here is the uh, properties of the card what i mean by that uh, there is the vertices so how many rows and columns you want in your card so in this one i can make three by three and i can now to place a card just uh, you need to just click and hold and drag so while you click and hold and drag the card will get bigger and smaller so just uh, do that uh, how much you want and just left and the, and release the key and then what you can do you can click any of the corner and you can place your card so i'm placing here and as you can see you can zoom and i can place exactly in this position okay i place it roughly there and in my second i can click here and move this one like that and this top one i can move like that and this one i can move this one like that so as you can see we place it uh, this card so we need to go in different frame to find a position or position of this building so as you can see the card is going down so what we can do we can zoom in and you can take this point and move it up and you can release and now we successfully uh, find it the position now as you can see this is track it properly then we can go to the edit mode as you can see we have this edit mode just click on the edit mode and in the bottom just click and hold as you can see we can select vertices 
and edges and faces and all that so in this one we will select vertices and what we are going to do we can just select all these vertices and we can move it like this and can click here also and this one also i can move it here reason i'm doing because i want to do extrude you guess you can build a rough geo in this uh, model builder node so i can go here to the edge mode and i can select these edges like that I can right click and i can extrude so i can click and it will it pick is extruding this model here and i can release and i want to push in a z because this part is inside so i can uh, go so i can uh, remove the view from the camera and i can press go to the top view c just press the c and you are in a top view so i think we messed up uh, the selection so i can select this one again and press c so we can go top view now i can push this in a z space just like that as you can see and press v yeah so as you can see we can align this one like this yeah and then uh, what we can do we can again do a right click and do a extrude and this is how you can build your model this is a rough show you can you can build like this and this is exactly how i build this one as you can see here so so this is the geo i build and what i can do here i can come here and select uh, this my g this my geo and i can do big geo so i have this model here as you can see i have this rough model here so i can use this one to do anything on my on this model uh, to get uh, to re render this one scanner render and i can do untrap and all that good stuff this is how you can use model builder so this is very good tutorial so i hope you learned something use this in your uh, compositing workflow you have if you have a match move camera you can use model builder to place a card and anything like that you don't need any uh, gizmo or anything it's built in a nuke so take advantage of this one this node hope you guys learned something and hope you find this one useful so thank you for watching and let me know in the comment and we will see you in a way next one have a great day